Um, so I'm hearing some themes. Seems like there's a lot happening. Um, and I invite everyone to just find a comfortable seat um, or laying down, stay where you're at, um, wherever you are, to begin to notice the subtle nuances of this moment. but trying to breathe into each body part, meeting that part, noticing any sensations. The areas of tension or ease. Just taking stock of where you're at in this moment. Thoughts come and go, letting distractions come and go. And I invite you, if you become distracted, to not be hard on yourself, but to just maybe take a deep breath and then choose to come back to the breath of the body. Noticing what your subjective experience of feeling alive is today. Trying not to change, not to judge. Just meeting yourself where you're at. Soften the body around maybe spaces of discomfort or emotion. The body tends to want to constrict during these times of not wanting to be where we are, so. Trying to continually soften the areas around discomfort. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more of those, inhale through the nose. Let something go. And inhaling through the nose to retain. At the top of the breath, hold. Here. 
lowering the shoulders down and back. Inhale. And exhale, lower the hands back down to the right. Inhale, right hand up towards the sky. And walk it over to the side, taking a nice side body stretch. Breathing forward to the right side body. Feeling your breath stretch the skin. Maybe pulling the top hand towards the back of the room, letting the heart open towards the ceiling. And sweeping it in front, switching sides. First reaching up and then over. Moving into the left side body. Really sending the breath into the left rib cage, opening, expanding. Pulling the hand back, maybe opening the heart up, looking at the sky. And sweep it on forward. We're just going to give ourselves some love for starters. So this is what I do before each meditation. So maybe pushing on the thighs. Maybe starting with the neck. Again, trying to create a new experience instead of an automatic experience. So really being mindful, almost as if your intelligence is in your fingertips. And your fingers are discovering and creating a relationship with your skin, your muscles. So massaging the neck. Massaging the shoulders. And maybe trying something different than you're used to. So if you're used to digging into the knots or digging into the areas of tension, maybe just actually placing the hand on top of it gently and not moving it. And sending energy through your hand into your muscle. Breathing into your muscle. Wherever you are, maybe moving down the arms. And again, I invite you to ignore everything I'm saying and find what feels good for you. So again, slowing down, allowing your body to communicate. Maybe your eyes are racing, maybe you want to massage your eyes or your temples. Giving yourself permission to maybe just believe that you have everything you need inside of you. back or moving the flesh out from under ourselves and slowly just walking our hands between our legs again starting slow so finding that wall of tension not trying to finesse into a stretch here and just lean on that wall yourself to receiving support that your body is communicating the boundaries that it's showing and releasing the neck releasing the jaw
be pushing the heels out towards the front of the room, pulling the toes back. Acknowledging that whatever is alive for you in this stretch, whatever is alive in your body right now, the felt sense of this moment, I invite you to honor it, to welcome it in. It's the only thing that someone can't take away. Tucking chin to chest, slowly stacking vertebra, one on top of the other, last thing to lift is the chin. Placing our hands behind us. Shooting our chest up towards the ceiling, looping our shoulders down and back. And maybe you keep the chin tucked, maybe you guide the head back, whatever feels right. Breathing into the chest cavity. Letting your heart open to any emotions you've been feeling. Massaging it with your breath. Deep inhales in, long exhales out. Continuing to send the heels towards the front of the room. And gently coming onto our fingertips, slightly stretching our fingers very gently. And bending our knees, setting them behind us, coming into our first child's pose. Toes together, hips all the way back. Letting the spirit all around you and within you begin to settle. Continuing to breathe, continuing to feel. Please raise your right hand now if you'd like to opt out of any massage or adjustments. Thank you. Please raise your left hand now if you'd like to opt out of any essential oils or therapy. Thank you. Rolling the forehead back and forth, massaging the area between the eyebrows. Pressing the tops of the toes into the mat, releasing the hips. Placing the right hand at the right edge of the mat, left hand on top of right. Breathing into the left side body. showing up here today, showing up for yourself, your body. The 
releasing the muscles of the face. Releasing the shoulders, softening. Softening every finger. And sending the hands back forward, twist them a bit. Placing them in prayer pose above your head. And walking those elbows towards the front of the room, finding a nice shoulder stretch. Once you've arrived, dropping the tummy, letting the heart shine forward, inhale here. Exhaling, curving the spine, tucking the chin. Continue here, inhale, letting the skin of the tummy stretch down. Exhaling, let the skin of the back stretch all the way up towards the ceiling. Finding neutral spine. Inhale, right hand towards the front of the room. Left foot towards the back of the room. Sending that heel out. And inhale, everything up. Exhale, trying to crunch it all in towards the center line. Beautiful. Inhale, one more time, back up. Exhale, pull it in. Inhaling, opening as the universe opens. Exhaling, contracting as the universe contracts. One more of those. Letting the heat build, letting the prana move. Exhale, everything back down to the mat. Finding your base, taking another cat cow. Inhale, pushing through the hands, lifting through the crown. Exhaling. And finding center. This time, reaching the left hand out towards the front of the room. Right foot out towards the back of the room. Finding equally weight in the points of contact. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, center line. Inhale, back up. Exhale, pulling it in. Inhale, back up. Exhale, one more. Inhale, open. Exhale, landing everything back onto the mat. If this is too much for anyone, people can double mat it or take up blankets. The knees are kind of asking for support. And inhale, right hand up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it through. Deep inhale here. Exhale, soften. Inhale, right hand back up towards the sky. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left hand up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale here, exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, left hand back up towards the sky. Exhale, lower. Curling our toes under, sitting our hips all the way back before sending them up. Walking your dog out. Finding a nice stretch. Keeping your legs bent. Continuing to breathe. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. 
Exhale, step it through. Inhale, looping the shoulders down and back and dropping the back leg, the back knee, untucking the toes. Shifting our weight back, coming into half splits. So I suggest to keep a slight micro bend here. If your leg is straight, make sure you're pulling those toes towards the body. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, melt it down. Keeping the hips square, maybe pulling the right hip crease back. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Beautiful. Inhale, shifting the weight back into low lunge. Placing left hand by the foot. Inhale, right hand up towards the sky. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower back down. Tucking the back toes. Sending our knee up and stepping to meet the front foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Taking a moment here to release the neck, release the head, release the upper body, maybe swaying back and forth. And bending the knees generously to have the tummy meet the tops of the thighs, tucking the chin, pushing down through the feet, and placing a seed at our tailbone and letting that seed grow into a plant up our spine, stacking, stacking slowly. Coming at the top of the mat, inhale, shoulders up towards ears, exhale, down the back. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Two more of those. Finding your own pace here, being gentle with yourself. Beautiful. Placing our feet together and really zipping everything in our middle line. So pushing through our feet and zipping everything up. Sending our hands down, opening our fingertips. Feeling the current of energy as we breathe. The current of energy moving up through the crown of our head. And as we exhale, the current of energy shooting down into the earth through our feet. So we're asking for support from our energetic body, which extends way beyond our physical body. So allow yourself to feel the energy line support you. Inhale, energy up through the crown. Exhaling, energy down through the feet. Wonderful. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, float them on down. <coughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, plank. Tacking those elbows in for center body and lowering all the way down onto the tummy. Inhale, baby cobra, lifting, pulling the elbows and shoulders back and up. Exhale. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, laying on our ear on our left side. And shaking the hips back and forth. So wiggling out the hips. Wonderful. Pointing our gaze back onto the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Shifting ears, right ear onto the mat. And wiggling the hips. Looking back down at the mat, inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back up to tabletop or pushing all the way back up to plank. And exhale, downward facing. 
Inhale to side here. Two more of those. Let some noise out that hasn't been able to get out. Maybe some angst or frustration. Shoulders. Exhale, lowering the knee and the back foot, untucking the back toes, shifting our weight back. Slight bend in the front leg. Inhale, lengthening the spine up through the crown. Exhale, deepen. Releasing the neck, releasing the jaw, relaxing the area of the forehead. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen. Wonderful. Walking our hands back to low lunge, placing our right hand beside our foot. Inhale, left hand up for the sky. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it on down. Coming back onto our toes, lifting the back knee and stepping up the front leg to meet the back leg to meet the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let something go. Forward fold. Inhale, we're going to do some of those uh, Ukatasana Kabali Bhati breaths. So we're going to inhale and exhale, let it go. We'll be here for five, let it count. Four, faster. Really forcing the exhales out. Two. One, forward fold. Inhale, hands all the way up towards the sky. Slight back bend. Exhale, hands at heart center. Closing the eyes. Feeling your heartbeat. Feeling your breath. Tapping back into your intention. And opening the eyes, we're going to come into tree pose here. So shifting our weight into the left foot. So first finding both our feet on the ground. And then when we shift our, legs, our weight into our left foot, we're going to try to keep the structure as is. So little to nothing moves, only the right foot comes up. If anyone needs a strap here, I welcome it. And maybe pushing the leg all the way out. Maybe we grab our toes with our these fingers or we grab the outside. And again, finding a drishti, so a point of focus. The beauty of balancing is that we have to be in the moment. There can be no past, there can be no future. I invite you to breathe. And pulling that knee back in. Maybe we open it up to the sides. If it's in your practice, you can strain your leg. If not, staying here. And moving slow, listening to what your body's okay with today. Breathing. Finding the point of focus. Good job, Lily. Staying with it. And pulling the leg all the way to tree pose. So finding the foot above the knee or below the knee, never on the knee. Or if your hips are really open, you can swing it in front. Hands at heart center. Inhale, lengthening through the crown of the head, really feeling the the spine elongate. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Beautiful. Maybe just being a tree here. This feels easy, maybe closing your eyes and starting playing around with that. Wonderful, guys. Hands and heart center. Releasing the leg down with control. And inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Coming into plank pose. Pushing into the hands, telling yourself maybe I am strong. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga push up. So bending at the elbows and inhale back up. Again, I am strong. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, pushing back up. One more of those. Lowering. Inhale back up. Beautiful. Pushing back to downward facing dog. Dropping the legs. Taking a moment here in child's pose, swing the hands all the way back. Sending the hands back in front. I'm noticing we're running out of time. Okay, coming back into down dog, let's even out our tree pose. Inhale, looking forward, bending the knees. Exhale, stepping or hopping to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands all the way up to the sky. And exhale, lowering them down to heart center. This time, shifting the weight into the right leg. So pulling that left leg up. And then maybe we send it all the way forward. Again, remaining playful. If you fall, the ground will catch you. So instead of fearing the ground, seeing it as a support system. Beautiful, maybe opening it up to the side. Again, very gently, very slowly. So trying to find equal weight in all four points of the foot. Maybe pushing up through the foot. And bring it into our tree pose. A little trick to tree pose is that our foot is pushing into our thigh as our thigh is simultaneously pushing into our foot. So as if we're squeezing a piece of paper, our hands are squeezing the paper and our foot and thigh are squeezing the paper. Wonderful. And here, just finding your own expression. If you played around with the other side, maybe closing your eyes, maybe growing into a tree. Maybe staying completely still, finding stillness. Beautiful tree, tree. <laughs> And meeting hands at heart center. And with control, slowly releasing that leg back down. Awesome job, guys. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Vinyasa flow of choice. Or meet and down dog. You guys are beautiful. This class went by entirely way too fast. Inhale for sounds here. One more of those. Inhale for animal noises. <laughs> Lowering the knees. Sending our legs out towards the side. And who else has a hard stop? That's, I want to be mindful of you. Okay. Um, 
So Mads, I invite you to take a moment to lay in Shavasana. Feels right? Yeah. Um, everyone else, um, just coming into our boat pose here. So we're going to bend our legs. And again, if no one's done this before, finding three points of our um, sits bones and our tailbone. So that's going to be the tripod on which we land on. Once you've found that, maybe this is enough. You're holding onto the back of your thighs, you're straining your spine. This in itself is a lot. If you want to go more, keeping the structure sound. So again, trying to not move the thing, lifting our right leg. And then lifting our left maybe. If the back starts bending at any point, you've exceeded a boundary. And maybe releasing the right arm, releasing the left. And again, maybe just taking freedom of expression here. Trying to find flow, trying to find your own uniqueness in structure. Maybe you wiggle your toes. And again, trying to keep the V of the torso and the thighs in place. Maybe you straighten one leg and then the other. If you start shaking, welcome to being human. Welcome to being alive. Invite it in. Maybe the hands go above the head. And wherever you are, just taking two more breaths. Engaging the abs, letting the abs support the lower back instead of just relying on the lower back. And release. Wonderful. Bring the feet together. Giving the feet a little massage. And when you're ready, crawling it all the way forward. Finding your breath. Again, continually softening, continually open your body, taking full body scans. Sometimes it feels like the control we don't have is out there when the lessons exist in here, in your own body. Realizing that maybe your head's not touching the mat, maybe one leg feels different than the other, and just opening yourself to all of it. Finding the witness that holds all your experiences, that is witnessing all your emotions, all of your trials and tribulations. And slowly crawling the hands back up towards center. Sending the legs out in front. Placing the hands behind us. Looping the shoulders, again, breathing in the chest. Everyone's going to keep their chin to chest this time. Three breaths into the rib cage. Really expanding all four walls of the rib cage. Pushing through the hands. Pushing out through the heels. Wonderful, coming back up. Listen carefully, we're gonna just grab our right leg. And maybe you're here, so we're gonna tuck that right knee into the right elbow. And I just invite you to rock it. So finding all the fascia, all the kind of muscle and tension that you can feel in your hip while you move it. And if, it, if it's within range, you can also tuck that leg into the foot into the left elbow and you can literally cradle the whole thing as if it's a baby. And just taking a moment here, so maybe closing your eyes. And maybe you lean forward and lean back, just 
holding yourself here. Acknowledging that in every chapter of life, there is death and rebirth. There is some grieving that is happening and there is some celebration that is in motion. Can you be kind to yourself? Wonderful, releasing that leg. Placing it right down by our knee and inhaling hands up. Taking a side twist, left hand on the outside of right knee, right hand behind the back. Inhaling, thinking energy up through the crown. Exhaling, looking at the back of the room. One more inhale. Exhale, twist. Find space. Releasing back to center. Maybe we want to go forward here and try something new since we're kind of trying to access beginner's mind, releasing expectations. Maybe we just stay here. Our right hand comes in front of our right knee, kind of into a 90 degree angle. And maybe it continues back into a back bind. So finding our hands grasped together or behind our backs. Wherever you are, you're leaning forward, you're finding the stretch here. And this is a nice move to release the lower back. So again, finding the posture and then softening. Release the shoulders, release the neck. Release the lower back. Wonderful, coming back up, releasing the bind. Sending the foot out. Inhale, hands up towards the top side. Exhale, forward. Inhale, maybe looking forward towards the front of the room. Exhale, keep it. One more inhale here, make it count. Exhale, find space, crawling a little bit more forward or deepening just a tiny hair more. Beautiful, chin to chest, stacking the spine back up to straight. And pulling in our left leg this time, finding the cradle. Again, if it feels available, maybe the foot comes all the way into the right elbow crease. Closing the eyes. As you sway, can you feel the ocean within you? Continuing to breathe with the ocean waves as if your breath is the sound of the wind. Wonderful. Slide slowly batting the eyes open, releasing the leg, placing it beside our right knee, and inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, side twist. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, looking back towards the back of the room. One more inhale here. And exhale, unwind. If you tried it on the other side, just maybe reaching forward first and then coming towards the outside, forming that 90 degree angle with our left hand in front of our left leg. And we can just stay here. If you'd like to, continuing into the bind, finding both hands reach behind the back. 
And then wherever you are, soften. If you've overextended yourself in this pose, say you're taking a bind, but it doesn't really feel that good, maybe practicing on the mat what would you like to bring into the real world. So maybe instead of overdoing something, you pull back. Sending the leg out and just melting all the way out to the mat. We're going to do an inverted forward fold, so lifting both of our legs. And again, maybe you have a strap here. If you don't, just pushing the heels into the sky and bringing those legs as close to your body as possible. So maybe you're holding behind the shins while simultaneously trying to lengthen the tailbone onto the mat. And here we get kind of a humbling moment of realizing, whoa, <laughs> when we're laying down during the same pose, we kind of get not as close to our legs as sitting up. So taking in that different perspective, taking a moment to say hi to your feet, maybe wiggling the toes. Thanking your feet for all they do to support you in every moment, taking you around life. Option to do slight um, crunches here by lifting the feet. So not pushing into the mat, but we're lifting our tailbone up and we're shooting our feet up. So we're engaging those lower abs. For five, four, three, two, one. And continuing into plow pose. Sending the feet all the way above the head. Taking the hands on the lower back, supporting, holding yourself. Again, releasing any expectations. So maybe you've come into plow pose a thousand times. I invite you to maybe try something else. So instead of going all the way back, if you always do that, maybe keeping the feet in the air and sending one foot up into the air and then the other. Tapping into that inner smile, maybe lifting the edges of the lips and breathing. Wonderful. Sending the feet all the way in front of your head as far as possible. Releasing the hands, palms on the mat. Listen carefully and melting one vertebra on the t at a time onto the mat, starting from the upper spine this time. As slowly as possible. Bending the knees. Coming into one bridge pose. Sending the fingertips, grazing the backs of the heels. And inhale, lifting the hips all the way up to the sky. Interlacing the hands underneath the back, opening up the chest. Pushing down through the feet, <coughs> sending the shins out towards the front of the room. Tucking the chin in. And softening the neck, softening the shoulders, breathing into the tummy, two breaths here. One more big breath into the tummy. Again, listen carefully, releasing the hands, palms onto the mat, and coming up onto the tippy toes, and again, vertebra by vertebra, melting one, vertebra at a time, starting from the top of the spine, working yourselves all the way down until the full spine is married to the mat. Pulling the knees in, giving yourself a hug, 
lengthening the tailbone down onto the mat. And spreading the arms wide here. Sending the gaze to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, legs go to the right. Trying to keep that left shoulder married to the mat. Really basking in these last few moments. cherishing these last few moments. Bring the knees back to center. And switching the gaze, switching the knees. Appreciating everyone who has taken care of themselves. one last full body hug before coming into Shavasana. Taking any last poses of choice. Please raise your right hand if you'd like to be covered by my sun blanket. When you arrive in Shadasana, taking the deepest breath you've taken today, exhale into the mouth. <sighs> Letting your body fully surrender, softening, feeling the support of the mat and the ground come up to hold you. Releasing any shoulds here. So, if there's something else you want to be doing in Shavasana, I invite you to do it. Tapping into that innocent part of us. to flex your feet as I name each body part to help yourselves release. Please do so, if not, breathing into the feet. And exhale, soften each toe. Breathing into the ankles. Exhale, releasing every tenant. Breathing into the shins and the calves. And exhale, release. Breathing into the knees. And exhale, 
exhale, soften. Breathing into the thighs. Exhale, melting. Breathing into the pelvic area. Exhale, open. Breathing into the tummy. Exhale, soften. Breathing into the lower back. Exhale, expand. Breathing into the rib cage, into the chest, into the pecs. Breathing into the shoulders and the upper back. Exhale, open. Breathing into the biceps and the triceps. into the elbows. Exhale, let go. Breathing into the forearms. Exhale, melting. Breathing into the palms, into the thumb, pointer, middle, ring, pinky. Exhaling, finding something in the fingers to further soften. Breathing into the neck. hair follicle. Exhale, soften every follicle of your head. Breathing into the forehead. Exhale, soften. Breathing into the eyes. Exhale, soften the area behind the eyes. Breathing into the cheekbones. Exhale, soften. Breathing into the nose. Breathing into the jaw, into the lips, into the chin. Exhale, surrender.
to breathe life back in. Invitation to stay here or beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Maybe nodding the head from ear to ear, massaging the back of the crown. Invitation to I take one last full body stretch, sending the hands all the way above the head, sending the heels all the way towards the front of the room. And hugging the knees in. Giving yourself one last hug. Sending the legs to the right side, coming into fetus position, maybe using the right hand as a pillow. Taking a moment to connect to spirit, connect to soul, I invite you to try to keep your eyes closed while using your left hand, bringing you back up to an easy cross-legged pose. back into mind, letting that intention follow us into our lives. Maybe saying to yourselves, again, I am strong. the head down to meet the hands, closing this practice, the light inside of me sees and honors the light inside of you. Namaste.